This is a serious question. A lot of people might take this lightly. They might think that you need to pick your necessarily your favorite album of all time. I don't know if it means that. For me, I was thinking about it and I was like, what kind of music would I like to have with me if I was stranded alone? If I'm gonna pull some, I'm gonna grab some greatest hits because why be locked into one record? I might as well, if, if there's a lot of different songs from, from an artist that I like, I might get a, a potpourri of, of what they can offer as opposed to being locked into one record that maybe, you know, has some, you know, throwaway tracks. So uh, let's start with the Beach Boys, um, 50 big ones. It's 50 songs. That's one. That's, that's a lot of music you get there. Big bang for your buck. And so you get everything from the early Beach Boys, I Get Around, Surf and Safari, uh, Don't Worry Baby. And then it's going to bring you out. You're going to get the good pet sound stuff in there. And you're going to even get Kokomo when you're feeling like you still want to just chill out a little Kokomo. Think of the movie Cocktail, where it debuted in the 80s. And, um, I, you know, that, that, that will cover a lot of moods. Okay. Second um, record, again, not in any order. Um, another long record, a double album uh, by an obvious one. I'm a big fan of Mr. Bruce Springsteen. This is The River, which is a great high energy record. It has a lot of feels on it. It has pump up songs like Racing in the Street, Ties That Bind, and it could bring you down with some very vibey song like Stolen Car um, and, and many other great, great things on there. And again, a lot of bang for your buck. There's a lot of music on that on that double album. Another very long record for three I'll pick uh, is called Under the Bushes, Under the Stars by Guided by Voices to give me my kind of indie rock, American indie rock kind of fix. And that is like two albums in itself. You have this later run of songs on that record that starts around like track 15, 16, where you get like Soul Man, which Tobin Sprout wrote. Um, official Iron Man Rally song is one of my favorite Guy by Voices song. That's earlier on the record. And so there's a lot of kind of just lo-fi indie rock on there. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful long record uh, to have. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw you through a loop and it's, this is true. I really would want these records with me because I would like to have some fun at times. Uh, Madonna, The Immaculate Collection. I'm a huge fan of early Madonna and, and mid-era Madonna as well. But like, you're gonna get a lot of songs. You're gonna get Borderline, Lucky Star, Crazy For You. And then you're gonna get things like Cherish. You're gonna get one of my favorite Madonna songs um, of all time, Live To Tell, um, which is a beautiful ballad. And I could just dance around by myself and have fun. And this last one, as well, I've kind of been hooked on uh, for a while, and I think it just makes me happy. Um, it's George Benson's greatest hits. Uh, a lot of people might know George Benson as a jazz guitar player, but he has some very fun songs like Give Me the Night, Turn Your Love Around. And I'll be dancing by myself under a palm tree, you know, and be like, all right, am I gonna get rescued? I don't know. When you say stranded, I think Desert Island disc, you know, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, George Benson just gives me some vibes, breezing. Um, and I could enjoy that. And I, so I feel that like between those five records, uh, there's a good balance of things. Of course, there's, I'll give you a list of five more every day of the week. But for today, those, those seem to hit a nice balance of things that, that uh, could give me, uh, keep me interested for a few months. And if you were stranded alone somewhere, I highly recommend picking up my new album, Hawaii. It has many moods to carry you through happy and sad times and introspective moments and carefree moments. And you can even dance to a couple songs. So um, I highly recommend picking that one up. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into or just say hi, man. I like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.